Welcome to episode three of our three-part vacation rental series. You're gonna wanna see this. This is the third feature home of our vacation rental series. We are right by Lake Superior. The first two feature homes were incredibly unique, each one distinctive in its own right. And this home that we're in today is an exposed beam home. You're gonna wanna see what we've got going on in here. We'll begin with the feature wall. This is what it's all about. When you're located in a serene setting like this, you wanna be able to take in the views. You can have any size timbers that you want in your home. And in this case, we've got four by eight material running along the wall, as well as the band board, and then four by eight on edge along the ceiling. Whereas in the previous homes, as you saw, those were eight by eights and much bigger timbers. What's really cool about this was the utilization of these arched angled brackets, offering really good contrast with the wall. Now, the previous homes that we featured within this three-part series, they've had a rugged, hand-hewn finish on them. This home is featuring a smooth finish. There is certainly something for everyone. This octagon room has been featured on many of our home designs in the past. What a lot of people love about it is the 180 degree views, bringing in just a tremendous amount of natural light, but also taking in those views when you've got friends and family over. Really the whole setup here is terrific for hosting with a large island in the kitchen and then great overflow seating in here, even with direct access to the deck. The deck on this home is very special. It's a, a maintenance free decking. It wraps around the whole perimeter of the home and even the railing system is very special. While we're focusing on the exterior, it has half log siding with a special hand peel finish to it. And that's our eight inch half log. This is a fully functional kitchen. And what's great about it is its location. So we are centered in the house. And I think that is really special for a lot of our clients that are inspired by this floor plan layout. This island is different than the ones that we've already seen also, being that it's a tiered island. It's great when you do have large gatherings, being able to lean up on this 42 inch island height. And also if you're prepping food down here, it really defines the space, uh, keeping all the food prep separate. It's also really convenient to be able to have a kitchen sink that's outward facing. That way when you have your guests here, your back is not to them as you're working in the kitchen. This kitchen island also features stone on the back of it. It's the same stone that you saw on the perimeter of the house and each of it is capped with these timbers. The timbers in this home are really special too. You'll see the pegs in there, really simulating a mortise and tenon joinery. Now this is an accented timber home, non-structural, although any home could be structural if you're looking to achieve that. Now this home itself was built in 2010 and it has inspired many other home designs. In fact, we have an incredible home that we'll be featuring this year, which was inspired by guests who had stayed at this property and then built a Golden Eagle home. And what they did was they took a stone range hood and brought it all the way up to the peak up there. And it looks incredible. Let me take you on the rest of the tour and show you a lot of the great ideas. You're gonna love this one. We'll next head into the primary suite where we've got a two panel arch top with wood planking on this knotty pine door. These look great, very fitting for this home. And then within this area, we've got a wainscoting being brought up with a, a hand peeled chair rail and the drywall above. Remember that this is a vacation rental. The homeowners and hosts, they wanted to make sure that there was wood on the lower level of this wainscoting. That way, whenever luggage was brought in, it didn't beat up the drywall. And this has really stood the test of time. Everything looks like it was just built. This is great. It fits a full king size bed in here. We've got great patio doors, a lot of natural light. And it wouldn't be a primary suite without a great view. And we also have access to this deck. And that is a deep deck area, great for your outdoor seating. Also, it's so great to have the airflow flowing through when you have the patio door open. If you followed Golden Eagle for many years, you have seen this bathroom before. I think it's so great to use those same timber arches that you saw in the great room area as an accent over the tub. And how great is it to have a tub and bring in the views? It's just really great to get ready in the morning and to be able to see the beautiful snow falling outside. Of course, you gotta have a double vanity sink with a bathroom of this size. 
and this cabinetry. This is special. This is a beautiful rustic hickory. Just such beauty in the wood grain itself as well as the knots. Really tying in well with the knotty pine doors that we see there. Now, I gotta show you the next bedroom. It is one of a kind that's inspired many others, including a loft space in my home. Let's check that out. And how cool is this? There is a ladder going up to a loft above the closet. In fact, there's even a bed up here. This is great. And this is the same custom railing that was used on the exterior of the home. Everything is hand forged and hand painted. It's just a beautiful finish on this, a really special space. We've got access to the garage right there with a full bath, a great size laundry room, and let's head down to the lower level. There's a lot more to see down there. This is great to have an entryway with plenty of space so when you bring in all of your luggage, you can easily set it down and have a bench to sit on while you take your shoes off. And of course, with a big door like this and two 14 inch side lights, it brings in just a tremendous amount of natural light. And down here, it feels like we're still upstairs with nine foot tall ceilings. We've got a full size bedroom over there, king size bed, beautiful windows and a view. And we've got a continuation of that same theme of Wayne's Cone. You're gonna notice that whenever the, the homeowner's hosts were worried about wear and tear on the wall finish, they made sure to always put wood on that area. You gotta check this out. Down here, we have a post that could only be described as gnarly. This thing's incredible. This actually came from the homeowner's property. Very unique, very rare, and just the perfect opportunity to incorporate this in this space. You may have noticed that in many of our homes, we utilize unique materials. This is what we would call an exposed roof bottom, oftentimes a flare bottom post. But this one in particular is very special, being how the tree splits. This also came from the homeowner's property. Can you just imagine hosting down here? Take a look at this peninsula and all the seating that's available. This is great. And we talked about that special octagon room upstairs for dining. Here we've got it down here also. Usually when you think of a finished lower level, you think of lack of light, lack of natural light. But we've got so many windows down here. This just feels great. And also essentially another full size kitchen in this space. I don't think you're gonna have any troubles getting around in there. Plenty of floor space, a great work triangle for any cook in the kitchen. This is a flexible family room with plenty of space for everyone to gather around. It's nice being able to minimize the amount of posts that are needed in here to really keep this feeling like it's an open concept. Above me, we have round logs following the ceiling, even round posts over there as well. Whereas upstairs, there were flat timbers. What do you prefer? Do you prefer using round logs in your home or the flat timbers? Now, what's also great about this space is the easy access to the lakeside. It's so convenient whether you're having a campfire out there or heading to the beach. We have another guest bedroom over here. So now we're transitioning from more of a tan paint color to a nice green. And the homeowner said, once again, they were very intentional to use drywall on these outer perimeter walls because this wouldn't get beaten up by luggage from guests. Whereas the wood on these walls, that has stood the test of time. This is just a beautiful room in here. A lot of really nice light. Now right over here, you had to see this. Remember, this home was built in 2010, and back then, there was not nearly as much conversation about barrier-free entries when it comes to the shower. And we had said, this is a perfect opportunity. We are coming in on the lower level, there would be no steps, and this way someone would have wheelchair access. This is just the kind of forward-thinking design principles that Gold Mill considers when designing any brand new home. There are a lot of amenities and features to this home. In particular, we have in-floor radiant heat, which feels great on this tile. Now tile makes a lot of sense in both of these entries, especially in the winter time when we're bringing in snow or in the summertime when we're tracking in sand from the beach. Sandy, thank you so much for having us. This was an incredible tour. Another awesome vacation rental. Now you've had many guests that have stayed here. What are some of the more popular comments that you've heard from them? They really enjoyed the fact of the size of the home. 
So there's plenty of space for all the guests, but yet they can all congregate together to make great memories on their vacation. It's amazing. We'll put a link in the description so that people know how to contact you so they can schedule their visit here. Comment below, which of these three incredible vacation rentals will you be staying in first?